Yo, what's good? This is Lil Dreamy. We on the new wave. I'm from Boise, Idaho. I was born in Boise, Idaho, and then when I was like around nine, we moved to over by Nampa, and that's, that's where we're currently posted up at. I've always been into music. Once I got older, my brother introduced me to rap. Once I like started listening to rap, I found like a passion for it. I'd say seven or eight years, because I, I started making my own rap songs when I was seven once my dad passed, but then like, I didn't really record any music until seventh grade. 15, turning 16 this year. Once I was introduced to rap, I started listening to Eminem. I listen to old rap like Vanilla Ice. People don't like, but I find it fire. Like Ice, Ice, baby. I started listening to Playboy Cardi. I started listening to Kid Cudi, Uzi, Yachty. I've been listening to Six Dogs for two years, and I've been listening to like a lot of underground artists. But now it's Playboy Cardi for sure, my number one. What? What? Oh, I'm down for so many collabs. Foreign J, hit me up. Freshy, hit me up. I DM'd them, didn't answer. I know I'd be down for a feature with anybody. Well, as long as like we could like flow together and we could vibe together on a song, and it doesn't sound bad together. I want to try to get a song with Travis Scott when I'm bigger. That'd be fire. He's a he's a big like inspiration to a lot of people. Or Lil Uzi Vert, play with Cardi because he's my inspiration. So first I had my name Young Ripper. I had this app on my phone that it asks you like questions. Depending on the question that you answered, they'd give you a rap name, and mine was Young Ripper. At the beginning of sixth grade, I was like, that's a that's a whack name. So I changed it to OG God. Like a year later, I was like, I found out that there was another person named OG God, but I just kept it for about like two years until the summer going into ninth grade. And then I was like, I need to pick a new name. I don't like this name. Lil Dreamy, because I would be living my dream while the girls are dreaming of me. You feel me? That's why I chose Lil Dreamy. Nah, jewels are whack. So I was in a relationship with a girl. We were like three months into it. At first, like, she was like kind of annoying because I, I didn't want to give her all my attention. Then like over time, I was like, eh, she's good. Like I started like getting more to like her, right? But then like later on, when I like actually started liking her, she ghosted me for like a week. And I was so in the song, I'm like, bitch, don't text my phone. Like I'm not telling her not to text my phone. I'm like explaining how she's not texting my phone. I just wrote the song from there. Like I was pissed at her and I was feeling sad. So after school. I was just chilling at home and made the song. That was lit. It was like a movie. I'm down to do it like my whole life. The beat came on. We all ran out, grabbed the mic, started performing. People were lit in the crowd. They were feeling us. The place didn't play my music in order, so I don't mess with that. But And I guess we fried the speaker because when we threw water, we were throwing water and I guess you're not allowed to throw water and it fell in the middle speaker. I got a new, got a new mixtape on the way. I got more unreleased music. I got snippets on my Instagram. I um, yeah, I got a lot of music on the way. I got not like a huge catalog, but pretty nice catalog of unreleased music. I got a music video for baseball. Jugs are bad. Plant, I see the plant. Feel me? The trees, the grass, the reefa, no jugs. For sure trying to get either like a big show with somebody or get a collab with somebody big or even go to LA and do like studio sessions with other big people try to get more connections trying to get more interviews more songs out there I want to get my fan base bigger all that yes I am I might not be the biggest like social media star out here in Idaho but I am definitely the rapper with the most clout it didn't really like impact me that hard because in like my songs before that I would always make when I barely got any views I'd always be like someday I'm a I'm a get somewhere someday I'm a get those numbers so I was already expecting to get those numbers and when it came it was like, like I was happy that it came but I wasn't satisfied because I want to get higher numbers I don't know it didn't really impact me that much like it felt good but I want to keep reaching higher numbers 
Love you. Thank you for supporting me. Keep running up those numbers on the song. I appreciate it. You'll get more of me coming soon. We finna be big. Finna take over the game. See you later, broskies. Lil' Dreamy. Sayonara.